Hey there everybody, again here we are, back with it with some Jumpstart. I have here seven packs of Jumpstart, continuing to try to fill in my cube. We're going to see what we can pull out of these. They're continuing to print it, continue to ship it to stores, so we're just going to continue to buy it and continue to unwrap it, right? Not to mention the fact that the uh, with stores opening back up, they're coming out with some of these awesome promos, and right now, as long as your store still has them, if you purchase at least $50 of sealed product in the store, you can get yourself this sick Fabled Passage. So I grabbed these at Brute Force Games. They have a great little online store. You can check them out with sealed product and singles. They also are hosting events in store. Nice, cozy store. They actually have spent a lot of time and a lot of money upgrading the store while everybody was in lockdown. They have amazing new wall art of Planeswalkers uh, in their play space there. And all kinds of things, not just Magic the Gathering. They got a lot of you know, miniatures and board games and things like that. So check them out if, you, if you're uh, around. Stop in, say hi, and let them know that, uh, that I sent you down there. So in the meantime, I grabbed these off the shelf while I was waiting for an event. Then I bring them home, and I really... Man, these Jumpstart packs are... Some of the most difficult to open. But let's see what we get. All right. First pack right here. Right out the gate. And we've got Smashing. So this is a mono red pack. We'll peel it open real quick just to see which rare we have. And then after the video, I'll go ahead and check out the pack list. But here's an Itali Primal Storm. And this card is a great card, by the way. Played a lot in Commander. And even in Standard when it was playable, it was at the top of the mono red decks as far as curve but it's been printed to oblivion you can get foil um promotional versions of it from when from different things all over the place but it's good because it's inexpensive you can get it if you need it and it's a pretty awesome card so there's the smashing mountain and the rest there so we got a smashing out the first pack nothing too crazy get this bad boy open right here and here's dogs so dogs is an uncommon list i want to say so there's only two different packs for dogs as far as the card listing and this one has the pack leader on the top it was selfless savior so all the good boys here ways to protect them so they can get in and take care of business again with the thriving lands and there's the dog planes just chilling out in the flowers Watching the butterflies. I don't know about you, but the last dog I had, if it saw a butterfly, it would try to catch it and eat it, unfortunately. But, I don't know, that one seems to be content just watching them flutter by. Good for them. All right. Cracking in. Man, I think next time I'm going to need some scissors. These are like the longer packs, too. The, the booster pack itself is longer, much longer than the height of a card. Here we have Feathered Friends in this one. Let's see what we got rolling with it. And that's the Archon of Justice is the rare. And a second rare at the Archon of Redemption. So this might be a new pack. I don't think I have the double rare pack out of these. Feathered Friends is a common pack. So there are four different card lists for it. I'd be excited to see if that's one of the ones that I've been missing. All right. Coming down, four more to go. We're at the midway point. As soon as I get into this wrapper. This is really heavy cellophane too. I might use scissors from now on. To open the jumpstart packs just because there is that extra room. Here's well read with Ormos, the archive keeper. Talarian Kraken. <coughs> so a uh excuse me. A blue pack there. Good variety though. A couple of white packs, red pack, here's a blue pack. And then let's see what else we got. Three more to go. Hoping for one of those planeswalker packs. I have Bassery. Uh I could use Garrick, Liliana. You know how it goes. Everybody's trying to get those ultra rare ones. And here's another smashing. See if this is a different list than what we've already opened. All right, let's crack in here. And there's, yep, Volcanic Salvo. The Furious Rise. So definitely a different list here. We can compare those on the list and see how they fare as far as which ones we're still wanting. So I have like 45 of the original 121 or so uh packs and then the couple that i've made myself i do have plans 
and schemes to oh to make some more and here's a green pack our first green pack of the set uh predatory with momentous fall and a ravenous bailoff so a double rare pack here and this again smashing is is what it is is just curving out with creatures that get bigger and bigger than and then smashing face or predatory and then having having a lot of the uh the removal in the form of like rabbit bite where it's dealing damage based on the creature's power last pack well it's more difficult to open maybe maybe it's a good one i don't know oh and heavily armored so another common pack here i think maybe heavily armored is an uncommon white pack and let's check out our rare duelists heritage two and a white for an enchantment and whenever one or more creatures attack you may have target attacking creature gain double strike until on a turn and then a high sentinels of erishin i remember when this was in cons tark here uh, i tried to make it work as much as i could in abzan as just kind of a fun of in there so it's kind of cool to see that come into play it was very draftable for sure and uh, best series acolyte so and there's the heavily armored planes with this mirror shield so those are the seven packs we got uh nothing too exciting but what we'll do real quick is take a short break and look at our list to see what we're if any of these are new so that we can add them to the collection so just hang on one second and we'll be right back all right so after checking out the list i am pleasantly su surprised to see that four of the seven packs we open today are actually new additions to my cube that's heavily armored feathered friends and both smashing packs so even though we're opening common and uncommon packs here we're not picking up the rares for some reason uh but we will find them anyway we're still filling in slots we're still filling out that that library i know there's a few people on the jump starters on the mtg jump starters page on facebook who have actually completed an entire set of each of the deck lists which is pretty cool i'm still on the hunt for that if you are into jumpstart and you're into the conversation and you're trying to collect your own stuff or whatever it is go ahead and hop on facebook find that group the link's going to be in the description below and join the conversation there we're also talking about not just collecting these packs but designing our own and seeing where we can take this format sounds like something that wizards is kind of leaning into and they and i really feel like they're going to come out with another set of these here pretty soon don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up if this is the kind of stuff that you're looking for and this is the kind of things that you're in, uh, you're enjoying hit the the bell to make sure that you're getting reminders for when uh these videos are coming out and don't forget to share a this video with a friend to let everybody else know that we're out here sharing our hobby together